Hey there, good morning, I'm John. Today is Thursday, February 15th, 2024. Welcome to another entry in my daily vlog, my regular stand-up reporting on content creation and how close I am to being full-time. Uh, I'm a little ways, a little ways away yet. <laughs> uh, let's start by talking about yesterday. Uh, I had three main things that I wanted to get done yesterday and I completed two of them and I half-heartedly started the third one, so. <laughs> I guess that's today. Uh, so first and foremost, uh, I wanted to get uh, start getting the next video out. And not only did I, uh, full production. There's another full production. I got the entire thing done in one day. Uh, aside from, it's never just one day really, but you know, there's the actual like starting to make the video. Yeah, I did a little writing, a little planning or whatever a couple days before. But yesterday I uh, shot, did the stand up, did cover shots, edited, published everything kind of all in one day instead of spanning multiple days. So, what is it, John? What is it? Just get to the point. Sorry. <laughs> so uh, over the weekend, I had found that uh, the 1977 Sears Telegames console that I picked up for a ridiculously cheap price. Um, and uh, and I wanted to highlight it. It's, it's one of those things like, um, uh, well, I'll talk about it at the end, I guess, a little bit about how, you know, how how content creation has changed my own collecting habits and probably true for anybody that tries to do this. But I picked it up and it's, you know, I, uh, I didn't look at it really until I was ready to make the video. And then that's when I in earnest looked at all the parts because I wanted it to be a discovery video. The whole point of it was, here's a cool thing I found. I want to share this cool thing. Uh, and if I've already, I've already played with it, you know, you, you lose some of that, some of that discovery, some of that magic a little bit. I mean, you, you can't go in blind usually because that makes for a bad video. But anyway, got that video done and um, uh, overnight it's done about 3,100 views. So doing really well. It's like in the top five or so. I think it's number four-ish uh, right now of the last 10. So it's performing okay. Um, and I expect it'll probably, it, it's evergreen. It'll go forever. I mean, that it's not getting any newer and not making new ones, right? So those those are still out there. I had someone on the video uh, uh, say that uh, they're incredulous that the boxes on the products that I review are genuine. They think probably they're fake. <laughs> like, there's a guy that had been around a lot of old boxes, I guess, because, uh, you know, I get all kinds of old stuff. It's surprising how boxes hold up if you just don't crush them. Uh, it, I, I guess it's possible that someone has faked a box on me, but uh, I've never come across one that I'm like, that looks suspect. I mean, the wear is there and whatever, but uh, he wasn't like accusing me of anything. He was just like, I suspect that's even real. I'm like, it smells real, looks real, feels real. <laughs> it's got, it looks like, you know, unless everybody's faking them the entire world over, then they look the same everywhere when people find an old one, so. Uh, that's not the topic for today. It's just something that happened <laughs> on a comment. Uh, the other thing I wanted to get done that I didn't get done was uh, looking into that new GameStation Pro community firmware. I downloaded it, read a little bit about it, haven't touched it yet. Uh, I have to figure out the angle for the video because it's not, it's not like a you know, tutorial. It's like, here's how to just have a thousand games, you know, it, because it's, it's really just the start of some tinkering is what it is. It's not like a panacea, like, you know, drop these files and you'll be set. It's really a, now it's open for you to start messing with is kind of what it is. So, uh, got to play with it to find out for myself. And there's a possibility I could get deep enough into it to go, nah, it's not really a good video because it's too early. You know, maybe we'll see. Uh, you never know. You never know. Uh, and of course, in the evening, uh, the third thing that I got done, uh, we were live uh, last night on the Facebook and YouTube with 1980s Now recording our next episode. Uh, had a really nice time there. Um, let's talk about stats. So uh, stats are about like they were yesterday. Uh, we're still above uh, my watermark. I have this target of 10,000 views and 50 subscribers per day average over the last seven days. We're at 10,100 views. So we're eek right over the line there. Subscribers are still falling. 32 subscribers average over the last seven days. Um, Where's all the people? Where'd they go? I mean, the the views are there. People should follow. So I don't know. Um, and uh, oh, and and because of that, no new milestone today, right? So we're kind of we're tracking for a forty six thousand by St. Patrick's Day is the target. I keep saying that, and I haven't looked at the calendar to see when St. Patrick's Day is, but I think it's uh, it's still over a month away, or right at a month away. I'll look. Anyway, I think I. I think that's doable. If subscribers keep dipping, maybe not, but I'm hoping. 
So today, let's talk about today. So um, I've been doing really good about getting three videos out per week. It was two, I'm getting three. They're a little bit smaller, that's why I think, but uh, I wanna get one more out by the end of the week. It might be that GameStation Pro, it might be something else, I don't know yet. But uh, today for sure, I'm gonna spend the time that I didn't get to yesterday exploring that community firmware to see if that's something worth sharing. Uh, I have to do a little bit of preparation, a little bit of writing for the uh, podcast recording that's uh, this Friday. Um, and, oh, and I have another, another celebrating yesteryear script for retro days that I would like to get done either today or tomorrow in the next, the next couple of days. Uh, again, I'm, I said the other day, I'm trying to get ahead of the game, trying to catch up, you know, move ahead. Uh, so I'm not, uh, I don't want to be the one holding up the production, right? It's like, well, if John would get his stuff done. We could proceed. I hate to be the one that's holding up stuff. So I want to get caught up with that. Um, okay, uh, I said, I'm sorry, I pushed this to the end of the video, just not, it's not really a, I won't containerize it, I'll just tell you. So, um, something I found ever since, not just since uh, I went full time, but ever since I started, you know, wanting to do creation of content for YouTube, uh, it has changed my collecting habits. You know, I, I get something cool in the mail and I look at the box and go, neat, and I set it down on the shelf and go, now, when can I shoot that? Right? Normally, you get something cool in the mail and you shred it and you look and you see what's inside and you play with it and you go, that's nice and I got it. And so as a result, when I'm, uh, last week I did some, some tidying of the studio here and I started coming across things. I'm like, what the hell is that? <laughs> like there's a box. I guess it's like it, the op it's like the side is open. Oh, that's one that I got. I peeked inside and went, ah, that's this. I might do a video about that so I can't look at it now. So. There's all this like uh, fun deferred of when I was, especially back when I was making regular money and I was ordering stuff willy nilly, like, oh, get one of those and I gotta get this, I need that book and whatever. Those things would come in the mail and I would go, that's cool, but I'm not gonna open it because I might wanna open it on camera for a video and I need to do this. And it's, uh, it, <laughs> it's rewired my brain in such a way that like, there are some types of fun that I deny myself until I can get a camera and mic on it because it might be great, it might be gold. You know, it's it's a weird kind of way to think, but the, the offset is if I will finally shoot it and create a video, then I get double fun. I get the fun of opening and looking at the new thing, whatever it is, and then I get the fun of seeing a video I'm doing get uh, get viewership and engagement so it's it's almost it, it forces me to defer the fun you would normally have as a normal human being getting a product you ordered in the mail but once i get around to it it doubles the fun for me so it's worthwhile it's not like it's damaged the fun that i get it just it modifies my behavior and i think about it all the time even when i'm like i'm out at, at a store somewhere or whatever i'll go oh that's neat I really don't have time to shoot it right now, so I won't buy it even because I know I can't get to it. Whereas normally you'd go, oh, I'll buy it and get around to it eventually. And I just think, oh, I uh, I don't have time in that production schedule to to look at this thing on the shelf, so I'll just leave it here. So uh, it's it's a different kind of brain function that I think you have if you're if you're doing this with any kind of regularity. Uh, certainly in some in some avenues. So uh, just want to share that little. Eh, a little oddity, the quirk that's in my brain now. Uh, I'm gonna get going, get, get after it today, see what I can get accomplished. I got the next two days to really uh, get another video out to get these other things researched. Uh, so today's kind of a big, big, a big research and development day and see what I can get ready and set up to produce tomorrow. So, um, And uh, I mentioned it yesterday, Monday evening, live stream, we have the new Comp2, Q-O-M-P. It's the, uh, the the evolution of Pong, the puzzle game. Uh, it releases on Tuesday. We have it, and we'll be doing a live stream Monday night. And I think we have some giveaways, too. Uh, so if you're interested in that, we'll have that going on. Um, yeah, so we'll get after it today. Thank you so much for checking out today's vlog. If you did, I guess if you didn't, you wouldn't hear me say thank you. So thank you. Uh, if you're here every day, well, you know I love you for that. Thank you for being here so regularly. Part of my support system. Uh, I, I see so many regulars like Computer Cat and other people, you know, you're so kind in the comments. And it, it's just, uh, it, and it's, and, and I'm not here fishing for kindness, but you're giving it, you know, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm here to keep myself working and you being there to keep me motivated is, is invaluable. And I can't, I, I'll thank you every day. Cause I know I can't thank you enough. 
Uh, okay, hey, uh, have a great, what is this, Thursday. Remember to do something good for yourself, if at all possible, because you deserve it. And I'll talk to you again next day. Bye-bye.